Doesn't happen often, but it happened this year. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. I'm Mike Am, Curtis Conway, Yogi Roth with you. When I made reference to 1975, since that year, only five times have we had co co-coaches of the year in this conference. That's exactly what we have seen. Mike Leach, David Shaw, those guys. Leach is sort of known for his offensive attack, and yet you think a big reason why we're talking about him as a co-coach of the year is because of the play of his defense. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at this defense at Washington State, it's a little different than last year when you talk about especially points. Last year they were giving up 38 points a game. This year, only 28 points a game. And the one thing that really stood out to me was the passing game. 11th last season, and passing defense. This year, fourth. We're talking Washington State. Yeah. Fourth in pass defense. All the numbers improved on the defensive side of the ball. When I look at the offensive side of the ball, they were kind of the same. So again, going from three to nine, from three to nine to eight and four, had a lot to do with Alex Grinch in that defense. Taking nothing away from the offense, but that, that was the biggest improvement for me. I think Alex Grinch needs to get his props because he did an outstanding job. Yeah, a lot of love for Grinch. There were some concerns, first year defensive coordinator, and yet the speaking of defense, it's been a staple over the years with David Shaw, and yet this year offense really kicked it up into a high gear because of guys like Kevin Hogan. But once again, Shaw is just an incredible coach. Third time in five years now, he has won this award. Well, I can remember being at Stanford in spring football and met with Coach Shaw and said, so what happened last year? They went eight and five after winning 10 plus games three times in a row. And he said, you know, we just kind of lost our way a little bit, you know, and when you continue to win and you have this culture of winning, it becomes hard to maintain it. And you can kind of feel a pressure that you put on yourself. He said the team had the best winter conditioning of his entire coaching career, the best mentality in spring practice, the best mentality in training camp. Then they go out and lose to Northwestern, which at the time was an embarrassing loss. Now, obviously, we know that it wasn't. But the way that he rallied that team, they didn't flinch, man. And I think that's really impressive. I mean, this guy has four, kind of four seasons of 10 plus wins. Since 1891, when Stanford football began, they only have four seasons with 10 plus <laughs> wins. So to me, it's really impressive. Winning and keeping the culture that is successful, I think is the hardest thing for a football coach. Once you change it, to maintain it is the challenge, especially in this conference. I thought he did an incredible job. He's my coach of the year, congratulations. And once again, we're talking about them potentially winning another <laughs> Pac-12 title. That will happen on Saturday if they're able to take out USC. The guy that will be hanging with Yogi Roth there at Levi's Stadium is David Shaw. You like how I said that? That was He's good. He's going to be hanging yeah. out with you <laughs> out on the football field. And if you want to check out the game in person, pack-12.com slash tickets. But it's all good if you can't make it. Put the feet up. 3.30 p.m. Pacific time here on the Pac-12 Network. Me, Curtis Callaway, Nigel Burton, and Nick Galliotti. We will get you set for the game on the pregame show.